Welcome back to the channel. This is Guess Who Gurr, and today we are going to be cleaning up my exhaust for my snowmobile. As you can see, they are really rusted. Um, there's no pinholes or anything. It's actually a pretty good exhaust. It's just really unsightly. So I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put some flame proof paint on it, and then we're going to wrap it, and hopefully it turns out really nice. I'm going to start out by using my grinder with a wire wheel and getting all the surface rust off of here. Then we're going to hit it with some CLR, that's some calcium lime and rust remover. Uh, we'll just spray that on here and use a little brush to, you know, get the, get the rest of the rust off of here. And then, you know, anything else that's left over, I'll just use a little bit of sanding pad that I have left over. Um, just a little bit of scrap sandpaper. And um, yeah, it's a pretty simple process. It just takes a little bit of work and uh, we're going to get these hands dirty. So let's dive right into it. Yeah. Do you wanna put that dish in your mouth? Oh yeah. Alright, now that we have our proper safety precautions on, let's get on our hands and knees and do what we do best. Uh, <laughs> Wish you could slide into my time. Just some sort of like a scotch bright brush. It's all plastic. So we're just gonna get after it here and get all this extra rust off. pretty good I didn't really have to I don't even think I'm gonna do anything more to this I'm just gonna paint it after it dries off and slap her back on there better already uh, the CLR actually did really nice on this um, I didn't really feel like it needed much else so we're just gonna let that dry and then we're gonna hit it with some paint I've got some primer I'm gonna paint everything with and then I'm gonna hit it with some uh, it's a really 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 light gray paint so <clears throat> yeah this is what they look like before I uh, got all the surface rust off. Uh, obviously, there's still some discoloration there, but it is what it is, man. It's a 20-year-old sled, so. All right, I got all this stuff hung up. <clears throat> we are going to blast it with some primer, let it dry, and then we'll hit it with some of this paint right here. So that's my primer. It is fireproof. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't melt off, should it? Uh, I don't think anything in my snowmobile is 2,000 degrees, unless I blast it off into the sun here soon. Um, other than that though, let's get to painting. primer after that dries and then we'll actually paint it and then we'll wrap it cool now it's time to lay down some paint on this sucker this is what i'm going to be using here uh, there we go if you can see that uh we've got some header paint um this is ceramic coating 
very high temperature stuff here guys so this should uh this should last forever this is what color it is Jeez. i think it's just going to be a little bit lighter than the primer that i have on there right now i've never really used this paint before so this is kind of a kind of a little experiment for me too mm -hmm. So, this is what they look like fresh after that paint. I think they're looking pretty damn good for what we started out with. Header's looking real nice. Got a nice solid coat of paint on here after the primer. Probably go over this just one more time. And then uh, hopefully, you know, this will never have to be done again. God, that looks so ugly. I did not do that guys. So please don't be too hard on me in the comments for that one. Uh, yeah. That's, I'm not gonna show you that anymore. But <clears throat> yeah, it, overall, this is looking, this is looking great. Yeah. All right, well, we will just let these dry. I'm probably gonna hit it one more time and then uh, we'll go ahead and start wrapping. This is actually not too bad. I think I've only been out here for like, I don't know, hour, hour and a half maybe. There you go. See you in a second. Alrighty, this is the wrap that I got. Uh, it's just whatever I found on Amazon. Came with a bunch of these. It's like header wrap, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap these. Uh, if I have enough, I'm gonna wrap this also. than I thought it was going to be, but um, we're getting her done. We're getting her done. I think laying it on the floor was the trick. Came out pretty easy. turned out pretty good definitely a lot prettier than when we started everything turned out really nice actually this side you know I probably could have redone it but uh, didn't really feel like it just gonna throw it in the sled and hope it doesn't unravel yeah I will uh, <clears throat> I'll definitely give you guys an update after I put a couple miles on this and see how it you know, see how it goes, but it should be pretty good. It looks excellent. Let me get up a little bit higher so you can see everything. Very happy with how everything turned out. I think it's gonna make my snowmobile look a million times better. I don't think it took three hours, but yeah. Had some fun out in the garage today. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, definitely start from the middle if you're gonna do this and go that way because it just hides the you know hides the little folds over if you like this video or you got any help out of it please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh that's a wrap <laughs>